There it yeah. goes. Awesome. Great, great, great. 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 Thank you. Man, no problem. Okay. It looks like we've got um, five people, four people in here, uh, or three, three, and then you and I. Yeah. So what I'll do is um, we can put this up somewhere so other people can catch it. Right. But yeah, I'm so hello, Barbara. Um, I've got Barbara. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, Tamara. And then Becky. Becky Cooley. Hi, is Stephanie. Becky. How are you guys doing? We're doing How's well. It? Thank you. Thank you How's for doing this. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Jackson to you guys. Dr. Jackson created um, a nifty little tool called an auto flosser that helps people, folks like me or you that have um, all on four prosthetics or bridges with implants. It just helps guide the threader. Uh, it, it helps the whole flossing experience much easier. And if you're someone like me that I've just never have taken the time out to floss, even when I had real teeth. It wasn't until I, I nearly lost all my teeth and I started flossing. Um, when you have something like this, it, I mean, it, it makes you want to floss, I guess. At least for me, it does. Um, so I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to let Dr. Jackson kind of introduce the product and say whatever he wants to say yeah. about it. And maybe he can kind of show us how to use it. Yeah, for sure. But Stephanie, I think, I think the point that you made there is a good one. Like nobody likes to floss. Right. But then yeah. you sometimes get to a point in time in your life, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, you, you grow out of being an adolescent and a child and you go through some life experiences and all of a sudden you realize that you've just invested a lot of money for something that you need to now take care of. And, um, unfortunately, um, you know, a lot of the times people get to this position um, because of, you know, because of the, um, you know, what, what, what has happened or what hasn't happened in the past. So, um, you know, I'm a, you know, to the, you know, Stephanie, you know, but to, to the other participants here, Tamara, Becky, and Barbara, I'm a full-time dentist and um, about four years, actually a specialist in dentistry. I'm a periodontist and a prosthodontist. And about four years or so ago, in my office on a day-to-day -day basis, if I were inserting some of these bridges, you know, I feel strongly that to be able to like take care of it and maintain it long-term, you have to be able to clean it. And there's some aids that are available today and you know, you're probably all familiar with them. Um, you've got like your water flossers and you've got your floss threaders and you've got your super floss and you've got your picks and your brushes. And there's no one right solution for everybody some, sometimes you almost have to have like an arsenal um, in your bathroom um, to get to all these different little areas. Well, anyway, um, something that I feel strongly about is, is the ability to remove plaque with something mechanical. I don't believe that a water flosser will get off the biofilm, which is what causes the disease. I don't think the water flosser will do it as well as something like you, like you, you got to mechanically rub it off, like with a brush or with a pick or with a, with floss. The problem is, and this is what I experienced in the office, my patients couldn't do it. Not that they didn't want to do it. You know, again, they got to that point in time in their life. Now, now they want to do it, but they couldn't do it because what I was asking them to do was to take like a floss threader and um, try to like, if anybody out there's got an all on four, you know that that seam, or even like the, 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 the three on six, the area that you got to get the floss is sometimes hard to get to. You don't have the manual dexterity, or maybe your hands are, you know, not working like they used to work. You've got the arthritis. I had a gentleman that said that his hands were just so big, he couldn't do it. And so for all these different reasons, people just can't get that little thin piece of floss into the space that it needs to go. That's how it all started really for me was that my patients couldn't do it. And I just, I thought that there had to be a, a better way. And, you know, over, you know, the years with concepts and prototyping and developing and testing, we finally got to what we have today. And I know that 
Stephanie has used it and she's been successful. So um, I want to share it with you all. So um, Stephanie, I'm going to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to share my screen. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go ahead? Can you go ahead and give me permission to do that too? You I can. Let me uh, get on here. Uh, allow. How do I do this? Oh boy. Should have. Should we? Should have told you about this earlier. Yeah, I've got a second little camera set up. Um, you know what? Let's see here. Let me go to you and see if. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make you the host. Okay. And then, okay, I, I'll let you be the host. That way you can, uh, okay, you're the host. You should be able to got share it. your. Okay. So I've got this little setup here and everything's kind of in reverse. So you just had to kind of bear with me. So this is what I developed and I call it the auto flosser. And it's auto in the fact that it really automatically positions the floss where it needs to go. And then it pushes it through the space. So the auto flosser, it comes with a handle. It's a two component system, handle, and then it has a strand of floss. So you've all seen this before. This is very similar to super floss and there's a couple other brands out there, but it's a strand of floss that has a stiff end to it. Kind of, kind of gives it some rigidity. So then the auto flosser itself has a tip, which comes off pretty simply. And you can put on the tip one of two ways. You can have it like pointing that way. Or you can have the tip pointing the other way. It goes one of two ways. You know, because some people are left-handed. Some people are right-handed. You know, sometimes you're working on the right side of your mouth. Sometimes you're working on the other side, the left side. And then there's a second tip called the, uh, the offset tip. It's kind of got more of a bend to it. This is really good for getting up deep underneath your lip, you know, where sometimes that all on four seam is it's really hard to get to because it's so deep under the lip and this also will go on one of two ways it goes on that way and it goes on this way so it depending upon whether you're using it on the top or the bottom and the way it works is i'll put the universal tip back on the way it works is you take a piece of the floss that comes with the device and in the back area behind the wheel you simply put that into the into the hole so that it kind of goes in there like that. And then holding the, the flosser in the palm of your hand and your finger your thumb resting on the wheel, you just pull down, pull down on the wheel. And that pushes the floss out of the tip because that'll be really how it works. So for example, this is just an example. You had like, this is a model, like this is a bridge. So it's not an all on four, it's not a th you know, three on six, but it's just a regular old bridge, same thing. You can't floss this because it's all connected. If you were in the back of your mouth, you'd have a real tough time. So you put the tip where it needs to go and you wheel it through. That's like 99% of the chore right there with flossing is getting it through to the other side. Once it's through, you grab it, you pull it till the white parts, the soft parts in the middle, you push on the you push on the wheel that locks it. Now that it's locked, you can go. You can use the handle to guide it back and forth and wrap it around the teeth and go up and down and all the stuff to get it clean. And you pull it out and you start in the next spot. Again, you reload it, put it right through there. Wheel it. So this other example, this is maybe something maybe you're more familiar with, depending upon the kind of bridge that you have. This is like a, what, like an all on four bridge. You, these come with like a pink part of the, the bridge and then they've got the white part. The seam, the area between like the prosthetic pink and your own gum line, that's the hardest part. It's so deep underneath that lip, you can't get your fingers up in there to get it lined up correctly. But with the auto flosser, you can. So you take the tip, you run it along and you just wheel it through. Once it's through, you grab it, you pull it, you lock it again with your thumb, and then you can use the handle to guide it back and forth, get all that nasty biofilm plaque off from underneath and you know, get it so that it's clean. And you can just simply take this floss, pull it back in, and you get started for the next spot. So if you got more than one spot, you don't have to take it out every single time. You just pull it back, you know, 
pull it back, pull it back in, get started on the next spot. And then once you're done cleaning, you simply, because it's going to get dirty in there, you simply take it apart, tip comes off, you push on the back side where there's this ribbed area, the center comes out, you open it up, and then you can rinse it off under water, keep it clean, and then you put it all back together, get it set for the next day. So there you go. So it, lost my camera there. it truly is just a floss insertion device. You know, it's a little device to help you get floss into all those spaces that are so hard to keep clean. So I just have to ask you, so, you know, that, you know, who, those of you that are on the, uh, on the Zoom call, um, what kind of bridges do you have? Uh, you know, if I can say something, last night, um, I've got some, I got some of those super flatters, the threaders I got before I got the auto saucer. And so last night I was kind of messing around with one of those and I, I wanted, I've used auto flosser for, before, so I wanted to kind of see what the difference was, buddy. I had a hard time threading that floss through. It took me uh, uh, at least five or 10 minutes to poke it through. I'm poking it through and then I'm trying to find it. And I'm like, I'm over this already. Did you, was it one of those, was it one of the blue ones that had the loop on it? It's a blue, um, it was actually the box is in the garbage because I, <laughs> I got so frustrated. Oral-B super floss. Okay, the um, super floss, yeah. So it's, yeah, the, the little tool is fantastic. Yeah, the super floss is, I mean, this is nothing more than like super floss. It's made for the tool because it's gotta be, right. it's gotta be long enough to be able to make its way all the way through. The super right. floss is fine. It's, the problem is you just, you can't get it through. You can't get it. Right. If you don't have it lined up in exactly the right path, you'll be, you'll be poking it into your gums. It'll start bleeding. It's going to hurt. And then you're not going to want to yeah. do it. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I mean, I have quite a bit of patience, but when it comes to flossing, I think most of us, we just want to, we want to do it. We want to do it properly. Um, yeah. So we can go about our day, but um, yes, I just wanted to share that. Um, I'll let some others share. Barbara, um, you've got, tell me what you've got again. Okay, well, I have a couple of uh, bridges on top and with implants and uh, crowns. That's what I have on top. Yeah, and, I I need, and I need to floss. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard to, to do. So when you do floss, what, what does your dentist have you using or your hygienist? What do they have you using to get into that space? They, they have never really showed me anything. Yeah, He's doing know, this work and he never even, you know, discussed uh, flossing it. I just do it on my own. Yeah, so that's that's a that's an interesting point that you raised because I believe that we as dentists, the, the day that we put in something that you need to maintain, we need to teach you how to right. do it. We need to teach you how to do it. And I'm actually giving a, a lecture to a group April 15th. I'm going to see if I can't invite. Uh, it's it's to a group of dentists, but I'm I'm wondering if I can't in, invite uh, you know you know the general population to to watch this because it's all about the maintenance of these implant bridges. And it's all about like what we have to do to teach our patients to do it. Right. But, uh, I, I, you know, he's such a, he's so busy that he never even got to uh, yeah. showing me anything. He probably figures I know because I've had so much work done on my teeth well, my whole life. So that may be true too, but Barbara, I have to tell you prior to the auto flosser, I was almost afraid to teach my patients how to do it because I knew that they couldn't. And I mean, that was like probably a little bit presumptive of me, but um, you know, you bring out a pack of these floss threaders or, or super floss and uh, you, you hand them over. And while you're teaching them how to do it, it's just so, it's so difficult for me to do it to somebody else. You know um, sometimes it's just, you, you, you think that, well, they're not going to do it anyway. So why, you know, why go, why go through all the trouble? But 
And then sometimes by default, and this is what I used to do, it's like, well, if you can't do it, just use a water flosser. Well, it's better than nothing, but it's not, a, it's not as good as floss. Right. All he's ever told me was to use the water pick, and that's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, and, you know, and I do floss, but I don't do it religiously because it is difficult. Right. Well, so this is uh, this is exactly it's exactly why this was created, just to make that process easier. So you can get in and out of the bathroom and get started on your day, you know, not sitting in there for a half hour trying to figure out how to get the floss through. So that was a, that was a good share. That was a great share. Um, well, I just wanted to say also, okay, go ahead, Stephanie. No, no, go ahead, Barbara. Go ahead. On the bottom, I don't, I don't really need a flosser because I have uh, implants. I have snapping on the bottom. Yeah. So, you know, I pretty much use the water pick for that. But yes. on top, I really need something before I lose whatever teeth are left on my uppers so yeah so like i said at the beginning it's yeah. like there's not one tool that's best for everybody um so on your bottom you know you've got you got the ability to snap them out and uh get in there with a brush or you know whatever right. uh, a water pick yes. get them clean so and i tell people you know some people ask me you know is this good like if you don't have bridges well it's like you know it may it may actually be easier if you are able to get floss through normally um, just to do regular flossing or use a little pick. So, you know, this isn't like a replacement for everybody. It's for people that can't do it. I had one person say that they've got one, one tooth in their mouth, the way that it's kind of crooked on the other one, that they can't get floss through because it gets it torn up. Well, this would, this would be the ideal spot for that. You know, it's, it's, it's literally for people that can't floss because they can't get it through that space. Now, how soon after surgery can, should you start flossing? So, you know, I always, I, good question. I always, I always defer to the surgeon, but I can tell you what I tell my patients for the first two weeks, I have them using that rinse, you know, that medicated rinse, the Paradex. Yes. And depending upon, you know, the, the speed of healing, because everybody heals at a different, at a different point, you know, at a different rate, some people I may have, you know, getting in and using, um, um, a water pick and, and a floss threader because water pick, water picks are good for getting out the big pieces of food. I, I don't right. take that away from the water pick. So at two weeks flossing with the floss, with the auto flosser and, and water picking for people where it looks like the healing may just need a little bit more time. I have them wait another two weeks and then get started. But, but no, but no later than a month after, after a surgical procedure, getting in there and actually using mechanical plaque removal. Flossing. And, you know, I guess it, 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 it's patient. It depends on the patient, too, because a, what I'm seeing with a lot of three on six patients, a lot of gum grafting, uh, bone grafting is being done. So um, I'm not sure how long it takes for those to heal. I guess it's for it's different for each patient, like you said. But yeah. Um, but, so, well, when, um, I, when, when I bone graft and, and I'm sure it's the same. The most important, the most important thing with the bone grafting is to make sure that it does, that this, that the surgical incision doesn't come open too soon. Gotcha. So, yeah. so, so you, you gotta be really careful about potentially pulling out a stitch or doing something that's going to create a little trauma at that incision line. So again, and you're absolutely right. Every, everybody's just a little bit different. Everybody heals at a different rate and everybody had a different procedure done. Uh, but for a non, uh, for a non bone grafting, all on four, all on six, three on six kind of case. Um, at about a month, I really want people to get in there because it will heal better and faster if you can get the plaque off. Because plaque is just bacteria. So if you, right. it's, a, it's a colony of bacteria in that biofilm that I was talking about earlier. So if you can get that, once you start getting off that biofilm, it just heals so much better. Heals so much better. And I'm so grateful to have met you, really, because there is, you know, so much of my role as an advocate is, is kind of helping patients navigate after surgery, too, like properly cleaning and stuff. And I, I don't feel like 
I don't feel like I should be doing that. I feel like the, the dentist doing the procedure should be. But oh, man, a lot of them just drop the ball. They do um, on proper cleaning. Like they'll tell you, yeah, brush plus whatever. But as far as how to do it, a lot of patients don't know. Yeah, right. You know, right. You don't know what you don't know. So yeah. But um, I would say that, um, you know, again, you, you get to a certain point in your life, you're like, you want to do the right thing. You want to like take care of your investment. And um, this is this is the best way to do it. Get the plaque off because that's what causes disease. And I, can I ask a question? Of this course. is Tamara. Hey, Tamara. Um, I am my, um, I definitely want one of these because I, before I got my all on fours, I had a bridge. Um, that I always had difficulty glossing there. I just, I, I just, I really don't believe I ever got to it. I mean, I had that bridge for years too. I just could never master um, the, even the one with the loop on the end of it. I, I just could never master it. So I'm really glad. I'm, I'm definitely going to pick up one of these from you. Um, but I wanted to ask, I'm in my second week post-op. I had mine done um, uh, March 21st, last Monday. Oh, so good. I'm in my second week. Yeah. Um, so I'm in the yucky stage because my, <laughs> you know, I swelled up a lot. And, you know, so thank you so much, Stephanie, because this group, you know, I almost gave up, you know, and when I found the group, I was like, okay, it's not just, it's not just me. And oh, this yeah. is like kind of normal. Um, yeah. But I thought mine aren't going right, you know, at first. But um, when you talk about the cleaning, so I'm still using the rinse in the mouthwash and then I do my salt and um, my salt water rinse. I'm really not chewing anything. I'm just, I'm still on the salt because I, I can't chew with these. For, my bite is off. Something's off Yeah. because I, I can't chew. And um, so is that, is that enough though, doing the rinse and the salt water rinses? I mean, yeah. do I need to, do I brush it all? No. So, so if you have, you know, the all on four, which there's the pink uh -huh. part and the white part. I tell my yeah. I tell my patients that you can brush the white parts, right? Because mm -hmm. you won't be if you're just brushing the white parts, you're probably not going to be irritating and traumatizing the tissue with the brush, because the, the the your normal gum line is just so far away from that. So I would say that that's likely okay. Um, but if you're using that blue rinse, the Paradox is, yeah. that, is that what you have, and you let that know. get all up and around your 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 um all on four bridge that's going to do a great job with controlling plaque. And that's the most important thing. Remember, it's the plaque that causes the delayed healing. Um, but I would, I would imagine that your dentist, your surgeon is going to have you start going and doing a little bit more cleaning um, as time goes on. But for the first two weeks, don't be worried about it. Just use the rinse. You can brush the white parts if you want to get some food off and some of the staining. But um, I, I would hold off on using any type of flosser at this point in time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. No, no problem. Give it a couple more weeks there. I think it'd be okay. But you're, but you, okay. the other thing with, with your, with your bike, that's not uncommon because you gotta, you gotta think that we're, we're, we're taking you from, you know, whether you had no teeth or some teeth or whatever the case may be, and we're giving you all new teeth and you're, you're anesthetized and sometimes you're asleep and getting your bite lined up perfect and all that. It's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it sometimes doesn't happen. So the good news is these are always interim steps. And as time okay. goes on, it'll get refined so that it's perfect. And uh, you don't have to worry about that too much either. Okay. Cause I notice I, and I, I see people in the group and they're like, oh, I'm eating, you know, if I can cut it with the fork, I'm chewing. And I'm like, oh, well, why can't I chew? <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I actually tried to chew and I just could not even find where the food was. I just couldn't, yeah. I, I, no, yeah. I couldn't find it. It's so, like, a, yeah, it's like a learning experience. I had a, I had a professor once that, you know, we would do these and he would tell the patients that it's like, you know, it's like you're walking on stilts for the first time. You just got to kind of find, you got to kind of find your way with where your teeth are. And, um, and uh, so that in addition to letting your dentist do maybe a little bite adjustment or something, it'll all work out. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. So I, I still want to pick up my floss or just think it so I can, when it's time, I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> Steph, Steph, Stephanie's going to help you all out. Um, okay. We're doing, you know, a promotional thing here where we're 
25 percent off the the cost of the of this using stephanie's code and she can share that with you either through chat or, or posting or whatever she wants to do but uh it'll help uh it'll help with that. and we always offer free shipping so that'll uh that'll help out too okay thank you thank you so you're much welcome. you're welcome so i think I, Stephanie, I was just going to say, I know that we're that the, that the Zoom kind of limits us to a, a period of time. And, um, I don't know if you if there's any other questions or if you want to talk about anything else. I'm I'm, I'm open to do I, that until we're out of time. I, I'm good. Let, I, I'd love to do another one of these soon. I know you've got a lot. Well, you're, you're very busy, but yeah, you know, we, I'd like. We, we we need to do another one because um when I when I when I switched my screen share. It stopped recording. Oh boy, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So we, that we, we, I, I think if we do these enough, we should be able to get enough parts and pieces to the video to get something to post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and that's happened a few times with Doctor B and I's recordings. If yeah. it didn't work out, it's a first time thing for us. So we, yeah, we can do another one soon. I'd yeah, love whenever, to. whenever you want. I usually have uh, all the time in the world in the evening time. So okay. Sounds great. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And for those Stephanie, of you can I ask one more question, Stephanie? Yes. Would you? Can you do one a Zoom for the newbies? You know that are in because you've got you're getting quite a few newbies. Like I'm one of them. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. we have so many questions, and I I hate to say it, but I, I feel like we're we're all doing we're all kind of going through the same post op treatment, where we're yeah. just not getting the answers yes. that we need. You know, I, I, it's just hard for me to get answers from my surgeon and from my <clears throat> from my team. That's why your your group has been instrumental. But I would love if you could do a Zoom for us for us newbies to ask. You know, the, those questions. You know, as far as icing and heat or you know whatever. Absolutely. If you have time. I've got um, another girl actually that um, has snap in on lower and a regular denture on upper and i think she'd be instrumental and, and really help i'll get her on board yes i'll get that okay. set up asap thank you so much i really appreciate you thank you dr jackson for it, nope. i just got to say we're running out of time yeah well we'll we'll bring me back on when you decide to do that um that call because I, I could be here you know not even talking about like flossing but i can sit here and maybe answer some surgical questions and stuff like that so that'd be, that'd be fantastic i'll i will let you know okay well all right well, well thanks, thanks everybody good luck. good luck thank on your you. journey thank you yeah, thank you so much you can always thanks, post stephanie. questions in stephanie's group too yep all thank right you guys. I always do okay. thank you yeah, thanks no stephanie all right bye now bye bye, -bye. thank you